Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Witches of the Moon. My name is Dia, aka OrbanOasis.com. And as you see it, I got Grizz with me today. Because <laughs> we out doing stuff. You want to say hi, babe? Hey. You know, okay, so this week we are talking about um, spell writing tips and tricks. Um, I guess my only, because, I don't know. I don't know why this one's so hard for me. But spell writing tips and tricks, okay, my only one really is that don't stress yourself out. Any words that's already been written before you are words that have been charged with some type of energy. So you can go ahead and use that energy so that you're not um, so that you're not putting too much in your own energy into it, or I would say over exerting your energy into putting it into your work. So like if you if you find a song, think about one of your songs that have your favorite lyrics, or any song about anything. Right? You could pick certain words. From that particular song to use as your um, to use as your magical words of power, or to use as your petition um, for your particular uh, spell. I'm sorry, I'm so focused on a bunch of stuff, other stuff going on. Um, but you can use that as your words for your particular spell. That way, you're not overworking yourself. You're not um, you're not drawing more energy than you. You should always put your own energy into it, but you know what I mean. You're not overworking yourself. And you could do that. You could do, of course, everybody knows you can use words from the Bible. I use that all the time. Um, but you can use songs. You can use your favorite poems, um, especially poems from well-written authors uh, that you know that other people, you know people are reading their, read their stuff all the time. Those words are charged as well. So you can use that. Other than that, I would also say find your signature herb. And this will take experimentation. But find your signature herb. There's always that one herb root or whatever that for while for some people only works for certain things for you it will work for everything there's always one um for me one of the ones that i could, I could use anything use it for anything everything is um jasmine and also rosemary i could use that for anything and everything so there's that um and yeah that's pretty much it right now <laughs> my brain is frozen but yeah i would say just you know tips and tricks don't be afraid to experiment have fun with it. When I say experiment, I mean experiment on things that are like like a prosperity ritual, something that's light, so that it's not going to be detrimental, um, that you can fix right away. But don't be afraid to experiment. Always, um, the best trick is always to write down what you do. That way you can go back and see how the results are and you can tweak it. Um, find your signature herb. And as far as looking for like words to say, if you can't figure out what to say yourself, then again, go to your favorite song lyrics. Go to your favorite um, poets. Go to uh, famous people and see what their quotes are. These are words that are already charged. Of course, again, you can always use the Bible. Actually, you can use the Bible, the Quran. You can use um, any book. Base it basically any book. I mean, it could be a children's book. It could be Dr. Seuss. You know, those are words that are charged. People read it all the time. So that's basically all I have. And don't forget to comment. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to watch everybody's video. And I'll see y'all next week. Stay blessed. Be a blessing.